Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to remove a carriage return in Excel. Sometimes you'll enter multiple lines of text or data in a single row in Excel and then you need to remove that or split that data up into separate cells or separate lines. So let's go through and see how we can do that in Excel. So here we have three different examples of uh, multiple lines in a single row, line one, two, and three in row one, Cleveland, Detroit, Pittsburgh in two, and pizza burgers and pulled pork in three. And if you look up in the formula bar, if I click the down arrow here, you can see they are visible even though uh, it doesn't show that when you're looking at that um, with the formula bar collapsed. So how do we get to this point? Well, if you're not familiar with how to enter multiple lines on a single row, uh, all you need to do instead of hitting enter is hit alt enter after you type your first line. So if I type one, I can hit Alt Enter, type two, and hit Enter at the end, and now both of those are in the same cell uh, with the carriage return in between. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. But let's say you don't want these all in the same cell, you want them separated in either into three separate columns or three separate rows. So in order to do that, we are going to use text to columns. So I'm going to highlight the three cells worth of data. Go up to data and text to columns. So we're going to select delimited here. And then in next, we're going to uncheck tab and select other. Then in other, we are going to hit control J. Control J will insert the carriage return character. If you look really close, you see a little dot there that's flashing. I'll try to zoom into that so maybe you can see it a little bit better. But that is the indicator for a carriage return. And now you can see below in the data preview, it has split the items that we had in each cell into the three different sections based on that delimiter of the carriage return. So all I need to do now is click Finish, and Excel has now put those into three different columns worth of data. Now if I want those to go vertically instead of having them run out horizontally, I can highlight those, copy them, go down to a cell below, hit Control-Alt-V to bring up Paste Special, select Transpose, hit OK, and now Excel has put those into three different rows. I can take and move those uh, below each other so they are in different rows instead of in different columns. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day, and happy excelling.